Hello everybody and welcome back to my planet. So today, uh, as you can see in that title, we are making a burrito bowl, but this is like a super quick version, nothing super fancy. Uh, we have Timmy right here hanging out on the counter with us. Say hello, Timmy. Timmy, I take your finger out of your mouth. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> so we are making burrito bowl today. Uh, I'm gonna go over some ingredients and just show you guys how I make it. Like I said, nothing fancy, something super quick and easy um, and super delicious, yeah. All right, so these are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using, not including all of the seasoning. So let's start with this first. I got a Korean barbecue rice. I know what you're thinking, why would I get this i'm looking for flavor so i'm definitely chasing flavor when it comes to this so this is the meat that i'm using it is a uh roasted carb chicken breast um the other option they had was grill and i just went with this one that i'm of course going to be adding my own seasonings to now lettuce is lettuce and i got this salad kit because half of this some of it i'm using for this dish some of it i'm gonna take to work tomorrow and um <laughs> i'm gonna take a salad to work i got some pico de gallo i got sour cream um i got guacamole i was gonna just buy some avocados but i just was really feeling like having some guacamole this time so i'm gonna season the chicken with this chicken taco seasoning i have an onion and then I am going to make my own corn salsa. So I'm using a whole corn, whole kernel corn and then some Rotel fire roasted tomatoes. This also has green chilies in it. So this is everything I'm using. Like I said, I'm not doing um, seasonings included. You know, you can season it however you want to. But for the most part, this is it. So let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is open these up and just add them into a small saucepan nothing too crazy here and i'm not even sure if i'm going to add um the entire can of this corn i might put the rest of it away this is kind of a lot So into my saucepan, I'm adding my corn and I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of it. And then right on top of that, I'm going to add my Rotel once again, just like that. And that's gonna be my corn salsa. I'm not cutting this on yet, I'm just getting it ready. So this is ready to be cut on when the time comes. All right, so then I'm going to take my rice and go ahead and break those pieces up on the inside just like this and vent it just a little bit and add it to the microwave and like i said we're just getting ready so that's ready to go when it's time all right guys so at this point i just got into continuing to do some prep so i just took that onion i cut it in half i ended up cutting up the entire onion so that's just what i'm doing right here Okay. 
all right guys so this is pretty much where the most work comes in i added some oil to my pan and then went ahead and added my onions in on top of that and while those started cooking and sizzling i started chopping my chicken so this chicken comes in little strips and i just wanted them to be in like bite-sized pieces so i just cut them into three four pieces per strip just depending on the size So this is what my onions are looking like. I was pretty satisfied with them. So once my onions, you know, got to where I was satisfied, everything that I got ready to turn on, I went ahead and started turning it on. So I started with my rice. So this is 90 second rice, which is a minute and a half. So I just doubled that because I put two bags in there. So I had that for three minutes and then my little corn salsa. Um, I just put it on a low just to get it warm. And then I started adding my chicken in because that would have been the last thing. Now this chicken is already cooked so I'm just warming it up. The onions was the only thing that needed to be cooked. So I started incorporating my chicken into my onions and then remember our um taco chicken seasoning that's what i sprinkled on top of it and then mixed that up and to be honest with you that's it the whole thing is done so i just took my rice and i put it all into a bowl um but like i said yeah that's it All right, y'all, so this is what everything looks like cooked. We got the chicken and onions. I have my rice. I have my little homemade corn salsa, pico de gallo, guacamole, and sour cream. So I'm going to put all of this together on a plate and show y'all what it's looking like. Oh, and I have my lettuce over here. I just cut that open. So I'm going to assemble this on the plate, show y'all what it looked like, and then we're going to do a taste test. All right, you guys, this is what my plate looks like. It has everything. I have my chicken and onions, my lettuce, my corn salsa, my rice, pico de gallo, sour cream, and guacamole. So uh, let's sit down and taste it and see what we're tasting. All right, y'all. So here I go. Let me make sure I get a little bit of everything in this bite. And don't mind me, you know, the braces deflect my eating. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling this. Super easy. Super delicious. The rice. Very good. Very flavorful. And don't throw it off at all. It's super good. I really like this. Now... Oh my God, the corn, ha, it was really good. If you wanna add like refined beans, if you wanna do whole avocados, if you wanna add like black beans, switch up the rice, all of this, you can change it up. You can put more different peppers in it, more bell peppers, whatever you wanna do, it's just super easy. When you work a full shift, you got kids, all of this. Look, I just did this very quickly, very effortlessly. This is very flavorful. It is so good. It's healthier than going to fast food. Oh, my God. This one right here is a game changer, guys. Look, 
this is lit i'm gonna sit down and eat but guys like always thank you so much for visiting my channel like comment subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye